Hey friends, welcome to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Friday and I am outside of my WW workshop. Not only is it Friday, but it is dark. Like pitch black dark outside. But I'm here, I'm excited to weigh in, excited to get back to my workshop, excited to just get back to normal life after my trip to Vegas. So as you know, like I mentioned last week in my weigh in, I did head out to Vegas last Friday. So I weighed in a little bit early uh, last Thursday since I was heading out on Friday. And I also mentioned that my goal for when I go to Vegas is to not gain more than one pound, to eat as healthy as I can, and to just be mindful of what I'm eating while I'm on my trip. So fast forward to today after I've been through Vegas, and let's talk about what I did and what I didn't do. So I felt like I ate decent. Did I eat as healthy as I wanted to eat the entire trip? No. I actually only ate the food that we bought at Trader Joe's twice when really we planned on eating that healthy food, that chicken, the rice, the sweet potatoes, the green beans. More than that, it's just Vegas happened. We were out, so we went out to eat versus eating the food that we picked up at Trader Joe's. I got a ton of exercise, a ton. There wasn't a day that I did not hit my 10,000 steps. Most days I was way over my 10,000 steps. We did go out for ice cream and I did an entire vlog on Vegas. I'll link it down below for you guys. Check it out. It turned out so good. But we did go to a place called Frost and Roll and had ice cream one time. And other than that, you know, I felt like my food was decent. Was it WW the whole four days I was gone? Absolutely not, but it was decent. So I wanted to not gain more than one pound. So when I got back from Vegas on Monday, I did not step on the scale, but I did go ahead and step on the scale on Tuesday and I was up almost three pounds. So I know some of that is water weight from traveling and of course eating those foods that I generally don't eat. But I was like, oh my God, it's way more than the one pound that I had told myself that I wanted to gain. But this last week I did pretty well on food. I was extra hungry this last week. I, I don't know what the deal is. I went to Jazzercise three times, two or three times this week. And come yesterday, Thursday, I figured out exactly why I was so hungry. Guess what happened? Guess what always happens on Thursday before weigh-in? The time of the month is here. So it started yesterday. Today's day two. I'm pretty miserable today, to be completely honest with you. I feel really bloated. My stomach does not feel the greatest. But it is what it is. So I honestly don't know what's going to happen when I get on the scale. On top of going to Vegas, my time of the month, I'm so sore from Jazzercise. It kicked my booty the last couple days that I went. And I'm actually going again tomorrow morning. So I don't know if those three factors are going to contribute to a not so good way in. But it is what it is, you guys. Sometimes you just have to live your life. And I enjoyed my trip to Vegas. I've enjoyed going to Jazzercise. If it makes me sore and I don't lose as much on the scale, overall, it's better for my body. It's better for my joints. It's better for my health. And eventually the scale will catch up. So it's not all about the scale and we have to live our lives. So with that being said, let me head into my workshop. I'll be back to share my hopefully not terrible weigh in and the workshop topic. Hey guys, welcome back. I just got out of my workshop, so I'm here to discuss what the topic and also share my way in with you. And as you can tell by the title of this video, it was a bit of a shocker today, I have to say. So probably the biggest shocker since I've started my weight loss journey. So before we get into the whole weigh in, what happened on the scale, let's talk about the topic because it's an excellent one. It is a challenge and I love a challenge. Eat the rainbow challenge. So basically in a nutshell, the challenge is for us to try a different fruit and vegetable than we've tried in the past. So maybe something that we've seen at the grocery store in the produce aisle that's kind of piqued our interest, but we're like, we don't know what to do with that. I've never had that before. Am I going to like it? So the challenge is to find a new fruit or vegetable or both preferably to try this week. Something you've never tried before, something that kind of piques your interest or looks good to you, but you really don't know what you would do with that particular fruit or vegetable, that is the eat the rainbow challenge. So I'm going to share with you three tips to take part in this challenge and make sure that you are successful in trying your new fruit and vegetable. So the very first thing to do is select your fruit 
or vegetable or both. I would suggest picking one fruit and one vegetable that you've never tried before and just pick them up at the grocery store. Blindly, you guys, blindly pick them up at the grocery store. Then when you get home, log into your WW app, go onto your My Day screen. So the main screen that shows your points that you are eating and the screen that you track on. Scroll all the way to the bottom and select recipes. Open up the recipe tab. I think it says find recipes. Go ahead and open that up. In the search bar, number two, in the search bar of the recipes tab, enter in that particular fruit or vegetable. So for example, let's say that you decided to pick up dragon fruit. So in that search bar, enter dragon fruit. Once you enter dragon fruit in the search bar, it will bring up a ton of recipes using that particular fruit. Maybe you want to enter in a weird vegetable like jicama or something you've never tried before. It will give you a ton of scrumptious recipe ideas. Scroll through, pick the recipe that sounds the best to you. Click on the recipe and it's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions and it's also going to tell you how much of each ingredient. So basically, it's going to give you a recipe to make with that fruit or vegetable that you've never tried before. And number three, while you're in the recipe, go ahead and pre-track it. Hit the little button that says track it. Pre-tracking our food, basically we're pre-qualifying our day. We're pre-tracking what we're going to eat so that it helps us stay on track. I do recommend that if you are someone that likes to pre-track, give yourself a little bit of leeway. Leave yourself some extra points because you never know what's going to come up during the day. You may be a little bit more hungry. You may be a little bit less hungry. Just make sure that you're giving yourself that leeway to have a little bit of extra points if that's what you need to make it through the day. So just don't pre-track all of your points, but go ahead and pre-track your main meals and the main snacks that you're going to eat throughout the day. And by doing that, you now have tried a new fruit or vegetable, you have a delicious recipe to make, and you've pre-tracked that meal out of your daily points. So you are determined and setting yourself up to stay on track during that particular day. Once you've tracked it, go ahead and prepare that recipe, eat it mindfully. And also when you prepare the recipe before you eat it, snap a photo of it, post it on Connect, post it on my Facebook group. I am gonna put my Facebook group right there on the screen for you guys. It's such a wonderful place. We have 9,500 wonderful women and men as part of my Facebook group. We love to see your food ideas, share your recipes, share the challenge of trying a new fruit and vegetable this week, what you made with it, and then share your thoughts. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Not all recipes are wins, but hopefully it'll give you a new fruit or vegetable to put in your arsenal because I know for me especially, I tend to eat these same fruits and vegetables. So it's always nice to add something new and fresh to the list of fruits and vegetables to eat on WW. So that's my challenge for you guys this week. I'm gonna do it as well. I'm actually going grocery shopping tomorrow, so I'm going to pick up a different fruit and vegetable. I'm gonna try it, and maybe we can all report back to each other on what we thought. So challenge this week to eat the rainbow. So let's talk about my way in this week. So as you know, I just got back from Vegas, which was awesome, amazing. I also have been working out a lot, and then of course started my time of the month, but let's talk a little bit about my way in So I knew in my mind that it probably wasn't going to be the best way in only because I have three things playing against me, a trip to Vegas, the fact that it's my time of the month, and also that I'm sore than sore can be from all of my working out. So I knew that it probably wouldn't be the best way in. And when I weighed myself after I returned from Vegas, it was the next day. I came back on Monday. I weighed myself on Tuesday and I was up right about pretty close to three pounds. So I was like, that's okay. A lot of that's going to be water weight. I'm going to be able to take that off before the end of the week. Well, unfortunately, my friends, that is not what panned out for me this week. So I had a bit of a shock. It's probably the biggest shock I've had since I started my weight loss journey. Uh, I almost did not weigh in to be completely honest with you. Even my uh, leader was like, don't weigh in if you don't want to. You just got back from vacation. But I was like, no, 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 I'm gonna weigh in. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be accountable. Let's do it. How bad can it be, right? How bad can it be? So I stepped on the scale and you guys, I gained 4.2 pounds, 4.2. Like how does that even happen? How, how did I gain 4.2 pounds? So. I'm up even more than I was when I returned from Vegas. Now, part of that I'm sure is gonna be attributed to the time of the month. Some of that's probably due to me being really, really sore, so my muscles are retaining a lot of water. 
there's a lot of contributing factors, but I freaked out and was like, oh my God, I've never, ever gained that much. I don't even feel, to be completely honest with you, that it's a justifiable gain. With all the activity I did in Vegas, the fact that I've been to Jazzercise three times this week since I returned, what the heck? But it is what it is. So initially I freaked out and then my leader so kindly said, it's okay. It happens. Life happens. You lived your life. You went on vacation. Just get back on track. It'll come off. I felt a little bit better after that, but of course I was still like, oh my goodness. So a little bit of a shocker guys, a little bit of a shocker, but I'm going to use it as motivation to kick this week in the rear and do my best to lose all of that. I'm hoping, I know that's probably not going to happen. It's a lot to ask for, but I'm really going to shoot to lose that when I step on the scale next week. So that was my sad day, my sad way in. <sighs> yeah, my sad day, but that's okay. It's a new week. It's a fresh set of weeklies. I'm back on track today. I actually plan my food. I brought my breakfast with me so that I can go edit and upload this video. I have floor time this afternoon at work. I have dinner ready to go. I have my lunch prep ready to go. So I'm setting myself up for some success. I'm going to try a new fruit or vegetable this week. So yeah, hopefully next week I have far better news to report to you. But I want to hear how did your week go? Was it what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think of this trying a new fruit or and or vegetable? And are you going to try that this next week right along with me? So definitely leave me some comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I want to know how your weeks went. Wish me luck this week. Please don't hate me because I gained four pounds. Oh, I still in my mind can't wrap it around it. I, I don't think that it's an actual gain of four pounds, but we'll see. Let's see what happens next week. That'll give us a better indicator of whether it was like a legit four pound gain or if it's a little bit of water retention and residual from my trip to Vegas and jazzercise in the morning to work off some of that 4.2 pounds. So comment down below, you guys. Let me know how your week went. If you're new, welcome. Sorry you came at the worst time ever for a weigh-in, but make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you would join my YouTube friends and family. Hit that little bell so you're notified when I upload. I'd still love a thumbs up on this video for being honest at very best. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support, your kind words, and your encouragement. It seriously means the world to me. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.